Hello friends. In today's episode we will look at a garden cart. It's something that will make your gardening a lot more enjoyable as it's very easy to carry your stuff around the garden using the garden cart. We will also compare it to a wheelbarrow and then you can decide what is best for you. So the garden cart we'll be taking a look at today is a garden dump cart by Gorilla Carts and it's actually very decently priced. See the video description for more details. So let's start unboxing this garden cart and it wasn't really that heavy as I thought. It's actually pretty light and easy to carry and this has a plastic base. It's the lower end version of the garden cart. The, there is a higher end version that comes with um, a much more sturdy uh, base but I guess for most of most practical purposes the plastic cart should be good enough. It's got some nice wheels, four of them. It's got clear instructions on the assembly and all the parts are pretty well packaged. Compared to a wheelbarrow, a garden cart has four wheels which makes it easy to maneuver the cart and it also has a dump feature which makes emptying very easy. So we have all the parts laid out and the cart is now ready for assembly. Now assembling the cart was moderately difficult and most of the difficulty was because there were a lot of bolts that needed to be tightened and although I tightened most of these by hand I realized that if you had a power drill it would have been a lot easier to complete the assembly so you could use a power drill to tighten the bolts while holding the hex nut from the other side and that makes the assembly a lot faster But as I said, it should take you probably about an hour or so to assemble everything if you have a power tool. If you're doing it by hand, it might take you a bit longer because it's a little exhausting to tighten all those nuts. I think I'm guessing there are like about 15 or 20 of them. So we have almost assembled our dump cart. We now need to assemble the wheels. And the wheels feel a little flimsy but I think they did a good job when I eventually tested them with some weight. Now one important step that I wanted to show you here was how to use a cotter pin. A cotter pin is something that will keep the wheels in place and this is a general instruction on how to use a cotter pin. So you basically take pliers and bend them over on both sides and that should do the job of setting up that cotter pin on your wheel. And when you notice the cotter pin is what um, keeps the wheels in place. So here we are, that's our assembled cart, our garden cart. Now a garden cart is actually a modern version of the wheelbarrow. It's much more easy to maneuver and the best part as you will see here is its maneuverability. So here you can see that I have added a lot of weight to this garden cart and it was actually easy to move it with all this weight. I'm guessing this would be about 75 pounds or so and look at the profile you can easily navigate this cart between the raised beds. Now I know I haven't shown you my raised beds yet, uh, that's going to be one of my future videos. But if you look at how easy it is to maneuver this cart along raised beds, 
so if you do have raised beds and have about two feet or so between them a garden cart will work much better than a wheelbarrow so this is the dump feature of the cart and this is something that you cannot do with a wheelbarrow so you just lift the lock off like that and then the wheels come together and you can dump whatever is in your cart if you're mixing things like soil and fertilizer or you know anything in your garden cart the dump feature lets you easily dump it without breaking your back so here we have it this is a garden cart and it has a lot of advantages like it lets you move a lot of soil and other things without breaking your back it will also let you carry things around your garden like fertilizer plants pots things that are heavy become very easy when you use a garden cart so how about a wheelbarrow now a wheelbarrow is a good option especially if you're used to maneuvering it but when I used a wheelbarrow, I just found that it was a little inconvenient compared to a garden cart. Now, I've used wheelbarrows for a while, but the garden cart is just a little more comfortable to use. Another disadvantage of a wheelbarrow is that it's a little wide. So if you have raised beds and narrow paths in your garden, a wheelbarrow is going to be much more difficult to maneuver compared to a garden cart. So there we have it. That's what a garden cart is and that's what a wheelbarrow is. Now which one suits you better is up to you to decide. Those of you who have been using a wheelbarrow for a while might just like to use it or get a replacement wheelbarrow. But for those of you who are looking to buy a new one, you now know what the differences are and you can make a much more informed decision. So I hope you like this video and I'll see you again soon and another episode of California Gardening. Until then, happy gardening.